Good morning, Midway Colleges. I am Midshipman Padre Jan Christopher Ilarde from BSMT NM583. For today's video, I will discuss the procedure in stowing the dangerous cargos in accordance with the stowage, segregation, trimming procedure, and also the methods for determining the angle of repose. So, that's it. Stowage. In naval architecture, stowage is the amount of room available for stowing materials aboard ship. So, let's take this for example. As you can see, in container shipping, stowage planning refers to the arrangement of containers on board a container vessel involves different objectives such as to optimize the available space and prevent damage to the goods and more importantly to minimize the time the vessel speeds at the port terminal so when we talk about segregation as the process of separating two or more substances which are considered incompatible um, when packing or stowage together may result in undue hazard in case of leakage, spillage, or any other accident. So this is the example. Maritime Pollution Annex 5 controls the collection and discharge of garbage from ships. It also directs that any garbage discharge should occur as far from land as possible. Items are allowed to discharge include food waste, bulk cargo residue, wash water, and animal carcasses. On the other hand, no dumping of plastic in any form, including ashes from incinerated plastic. No other refuse may be discharged to the sea. Food waste may be discharged beyond 12 nautical miles limit and if or ground permitted to discharge as well as at 3 nautical miles. So, when we talk about trimming procedure, trimming a cargo reduces the likelihood of cargo shifting and also at the same time, minimizes the air entering the cargo. So let's take a look at it, the example. As you can see, from healing moment and metacentric height, cargo spaces shall be as full as practicable without resulting in excessive loading on the bottom structure or twin deck to prevent sliding of a solid bulk cargo. Lastly, uh, when we talk about the methods for determining the angle of repose, so, angle of repose is a characteristic for non-cohesive bulk cargos, which is indicative of cargo stability, and it has been included in the individual schedule for non-cohesive bulk cargos. So, let's take a look at it, the example. As you can see, the angle of repose of granular material is the steepest angle of descent or dip relative to the horizontal plane to which a material can be piled without slumping. At this angle, the material on this loop face is on the verge of sliding. The angle of repose can range from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. That's all. Thank you for watching and I hope that you gain more knowledge and uh, something new about what I discussed earlier. So if you have further questions, here's the reference or link. Thank you again for watching.